Hi, this is Ben from Concept2 Engineering. Uh, today I'm just going to do a quick video on uh, the process of actually submitting a return using our taxing time software, um, which can fulfill your VAT obligations uh, as part of HMRC's Make Tax Digital scheme. First thing I want to do is pull the return into the return section. Now this is the send VAT return section on the left. So to do that, I just click on the obligation as it's, uh, it can be returned, it's going to pull it to the left. So the first thing I want to do is I want to look at my bridging software document. Now this is the software document, the Excel document, sorry, um, that I send with all the software. So you'd have a copy of this. Uh, and what it is, is it's set up with the named ranges required already. The next thing uh, is integrating this with my accounts. So normally what you'd have is you'd have your accounts uh, spreadsheet, which you'd have your purchases, you know, your invoices, all of that, and then there'd be a calculation sheet most likely. So what I want to do is I want to first bring in my bridging software template that I've given you uh, into this sample account. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to, this is the sheet now, the template. I'm going to right click on the sheet icon, move or copy. I'm going to move it to sample accounts, create a copy, I'm going to move it to the end and click OK. So now in my sample accounts, I've got a copy of this sheet, the named ranges still intact and it's ready. The next step is to put the values in these boxes. It's set out um, in the same way as the old nine box format. Just make sure it just means you're familiar with it. It's nice and easy, simple to implement. First thing, box one. So what I'm going to do here, is I want that value there into that box. So if I click on this box, click equals, there we are, sample accounts, press enter. That now is linking to that thing. I'll just do to that number, sorry. I'll just do this for all of them. So the next thing I need to do, save that to start with, but also check that my, my worksheet is named correctly. So I am wanting to submit, if I look on my software, a return between the 1st of the 3rd, two, first of the first 2017 and the 31st of the 3rd, 2017. Now I can see there that period is okay, so I'm at the rocking at the right one. Now what I need to do is name my worksheet that's got the named ranges in um, as this period reference here, where my mouse is there. So it's 03 space 17. And that all that is, is the last month and year the obligation end. So this is already set up. All you do is you go there, 03 space 17. And that is that set up. So that's the sheet ready. Submit return for period. And just go there. So I'm on my desktop. I click on my sam my sample accounts. Open sheet. Now what this is doing now is it's going in and getting the values and you can see there those values have come in quite nicely as to what we put in the Excel spreadsheet. Just for a sanity check, what I'll do at this point is I'll bring up my uh, details, um, shrink it down a bit so I can view it nicely next to my, uh, next to my little piece of software. Box one, box two, yeah, yeah. These are all looking good. So the software has been smart enough to go in and pick these out. So I'll close that now. Now, so it's telling you it's received it from that workbook, sample accounts, then the worksheet named for that period. If you want to confirm these are correct, if you click no, it'll just let you go and uh, change the details. So there is an out there if you realize the numbers are not right. So uh, I'm going to click yes. And this is the legal declaration, the same way you would have had to, so, to accept a legal declaration on the old VAT 100 form. Um, this is just doing the same thing. So I am confirming that it's, the information is true and complete and that I understand a false declaration can result in prosecution. I'm going to click yes there. So what it's doing now is it's talking to HMRC. I am going to have to log in. I'm going to grant, this is me granting authorization for my program to send file a return 
on my behalf, essentially. Um, and normally you turn up your own government gateway account um, and do two-step authentication. But because I'm using a test user, I'm just going into this little notepad uh, to get my details and I'm simply copying and pasting it in. So I'm granting authority to change my VAT information, which essentially means I'm submitting a return. Now that local host there is just a quick program. What it essentially is doing is it's just so it doesn't close all your tabs. And this is good. This is saying the VAT return has successfully filed the HMRC. Um, it's given me the details, the processing date, the form reference number, uh, payment indicator, uh, charge reference number, the version of the software used. And the reason all of that really uh, is your receipt. So that's your receipt to show that the software has successfully returned it. Um, and also, if you go into your sample accounts after that, or wherever you've uh, used the template, you will see that these are your numbers and it's actually put all of those receipt details quite nicely in that sheet for you and saved it. Now, what it's done is it's also re-requested information from HMRC and you can see 0317, which is the period we've just uh, submitted, is now green, showing fulfilled as its status and the date is received, which would be the date it had just been received, but this is sample data. So now, if I click on there, I can actually view the numbers I've just sent to HMRC um, and that is my data. So that's pulling back exactly what you've just put there um, and it's showing it you. So that is the return process. It is quite a simple process. It's quite a quick process. Um, and yeah, thanks for listening.